What is a transistor amplifier and performance of amplifier? Transistor amplifier A transistor acts as an amplifier by raising the strength of a weak signal. The DC bias voltage applied to the emitter based junction makes it remain in forward biased condition. This forward bias is maintained regardless of the polarity of the signal. The figure shows how a transistor looks like when connected as an amplifier. The low resistance in input circuit lets any small change in input signal to result in an appreciable change in the output. The emitter current caused by the input signal contributes the collector current, which when flows through the load resistor or LY result in a large voltage drop across it. Thus a small input voltage results in a large output voltage which shows that the transistor works as an amplifier. For example, let there be a change of 0.1 volt in the input voltage being applied, which further produces a change of 1 MA in the emitter current. This emitter current is obviously produce a change in collector current which would also be 1 MA. The load resistance of 5K ohms placed in the collector would produce a voltage of 5K ohms into 1 milliamps equals to 5 volts. Hence, it is observed that a change of 0.1 volt in the input gives a change of 5 volt in the output, which means the voltage level of the signal is amplified. Performance of Amplifier as the common emitter mode of connection is mostly adopted, let us first understand a few important terms with reference to this mode of connection. Input resistance. As the input circuit is forward biased, the input resistance will be low. The input resistance is the opposition offered by the base emitter junction to the signal flow. By definition, it is the ratio of small change in base emitter voltage to the resulting change in the base current at constant collector emitter voltage. Input resistance equal to Ri is equal to delta Vbe by delta Ib, where Ri is equal to input resistance, Vbe is equal to base emitter voltage and Ib is equal to base current. Let's look into output resistance. The output resistance of a transistor amplifier is very high. The collector current changes very slightly with a change in collector emitter voltage. By definition, it is the ratio of change in collector emitter voltage delta VCE to the resulting change in collector current delta IC at constant base current. Output resistance equal to RO equals to delta VCE by delta IC, where RO is equal to output resistance, VCE is equal to collector emitter voltage, where IC is equal to collector current. Effective collector load. The load is connected at the collector of a transistor and for a single stage amplifier, the output voltage is taken from the collector of the transistor and for a multi-stage amplifier. The same is collected from a cascaded stages of transistor circuit. By definition, it is the total load as seen by the AC collector current. In case of single stage amplifiers, the effective collector load is a parallel combination of RC and RO. Effective collector load RAC equals to parallel combination of RC and RO. RAC equals to RC into RO by RC plus RO. Hence, for a single stage amplifier, effective load is equal to collector load RC. In a multi stage amplifier that is having more than one amplification stage, the input resistance R of the next stage also comes into picture. Effective collector load becomes parallel combination of RC, RO, and R. That is, effective collector load RAC equals to parallel combination of RC, RO and RI. Parallel combination of RC and RI equals to RC, RI by RC plus RI. As input resistance RI is quite small, therefore effective load is reduced. Current gain. 
The gain in terms of current when the changes in input and output currents are observed is called as current gain. It is the ratio of change in collector current delta IC to the change in base current delta IB. Current gain beta equals to delta IC by delta IB. The value of beta ranges from 20 to 500. The current gain indicates that input current becomes beta times in the collector current. Now let's look into voltage gain. The gain in terms of voltage when the changes in input and output currents are observed is called as voltage gain. By definition, it is the ratio of change in output voltage delta VCE to the change in input voltage delta VBE. Voltage gain AV is equal to delta VCE divided by delta VBE. Change in output current into effective load divided by change in input current into input resistance is equal to delta IC into RAC divided by delta IB into RI is equal to delta IC by delta IB into RAC divided by RI is equal to beta into RAC divided by RI. For a single stage RAC is equal to RC. However, for multi-stage, RAC is equal to RC into RI by RC plus RI, where R is the input resistance of the next stage. Now let's look into power gain. The gain in terms of power when the changes in input and output currents are observed is called as power gain. It is the ratio of output signal power to the input signal power. Power gain AP is equal to delta IC square into RAC divided by delta IB square into RI is equal to delta IC divided by delta IB into delta IC into RAC by delta IB into RI is equal to current gain into voltage gain. Hence, these are all the important terms which refers the performance of amplifiers.